So, going to the deadlifts today. Um, same thing as the benching we did last video. Going for a three by five. Deadlifts has just been so weird for me, you know what I mean? Because it's like, I've just been stuck. You know what I mean? Like, all the work sets I do building up to singles week show that I can go for a PR and should be able to get it pretty easily. But it's just like I get to like 600 and I just, I'm at a standstill. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy because I've done 565 for a set of five. I've done like 585 for a set of three, but it's like 600. Nah, so... I kind of just step back from deadlift, just focusing more on form. Um, so if the weight's moving, I'll go for something crazy on like the last set, so like that third set. But for now, you know, I'm kind of just using deadlifts to really work on my form because obviously like my form is lacking to the point where once I get to a certain weight, I just can't fucking do it, you know, so. <laughs> Fun fact, so the reason I'm warming up with 15s instead of the bar is because I came and there was this bar here and no one was using it, so I decided just to steal it, you know what I mean? I think my reason for that is because I think they just left the bar for me. They're like, I have a feeling Kev Dog's gonna be here in five minutes. So let me just leave a bar up with some weight so we can warm up. So yeah, I'm thankful for them. Ah, uh, no boys. And the two females that are probably watching this. I just kind of feel tired today, you know what I mean? That's usually the story of my life on Tuesdays because Monday, like the way I record my content is like the gym vlogs. I do those during the week. Then the short videos, I record all in one day. So like for TikTok, the shorts channel, reels, all that gets done in one day. I recorded like fucking 32 videos yesterday. You know what I mean? I was up till like 3 a.m., you know, sad boy hours. So I'm still feeling a little bit sad from the 3 a.m., you know? feeling sad it feels like today you know I don't know man I was feeling a little bit down a little bit sad but like when the weight feels light it's like an instant pick me up you know what I mean so I feel good you know what I mean I'm kind of high off the weights right now <laughs> got on the wait for the first set for 70 it's actually 468 but I decided to kind of be a monster today and round up to the 470 just got a good feeling about it you know but yeah gonna hit this up for two sets of five and then for that last set go for some heavier weight um, don't know what it's gonna be yet you know what I mean like we'll keep that a surprise you know what I'm saying
those are just so fucking exhausting, man. But yeah, that felt decent for a first set. I wouldn't say that's like the greatest the first set's ever felt, but we'll see. We'll see. It could turn out that the second set feels like amazing, you know? So I'm gonna feel it out on the second set and decide what I should do for that last set. So I'm not really happy with how that first set moved. It felt a little rough, it felt a little slow, it felt a little heavy. Um, but it's the first set. I don't know, like, me personally, I'm kind of a slow warmer upper. Um, it takes me usually longer to warm up to the point where I don't really feel fully warmed up until after the first working set. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, you know, hopefully the second set, it feels a lot better and I can better gauge um, what I want to go for. and just try to move it smoother instead of going for like an all-time PR. Um, so yeah. So, decided to just uh, tie the rep PR, which is five, five, five. Um, and just focusing on trying to move it better than the last time that I did. I feel like I've like perfected the form now like I've been focusing just on form on deadlift for like almost a month now and I feel like I'm at that point now where the form is secure and I can really push the limits of my deadlift now but I mean <laughs> only one way to tell and that's by moving this smoothly. when you work so fucking hard to like get these numbers and you know you can hit it like you know you can if anything you know it should be easy for you and you can't even get it for one especially knowing that you've done it for five before you know what I mean when your deadlift is in a worse state it's simply a mental block issue and it's like it's just really fucking annoying dude like I'm so fucking over it you know <laughs> <laughs> 